Uh, here's a good example of why I should stop talking to the camera and just concentrate on what I'm doing. Hi folks, in today's video we're going to be looking at building the upstand for our roof light for our porch build. So stick around and let's make a start. So what we really need to do is just build a sloping upstand for our roof light to sit on. Now there's a couple of basic principles. One is for building regulations that has to be a minimum of 150 mil from your finished roof uh, covering. So if it's felt or EPDM or fiberglass or whatever, on a flat roof you need to be up 150 mil before your roof light or your lantern sits on it. Also, you need to think about the pitch. There's a five degree recommended minimum pitch for the glass because otherwise you're gonna end up with the water kind of sticking around on the glass too long and it will just, as it evaporates off, it will leave loads of marks. So you kind of need it to be enough to fall off. Now that five degree rule uh, is for the glass really. Your EPDM could be shallower than that. So it doesn't mean that your roof and your roof light are gonna be the same pitch. In actual fact, we're gonna be pitching ours perpendicular to the roof because it's visually going to work better. But anyway, that's enough of the basics. Let's uh, make a start. Our roof light needs 900 mil in width by 1200 in length. I'm going to do the two 900 ends first. Right, by using our little reefing calculator here, 5 degrees is the angle that we're aiming for, over 900 mil at the base. That gives us 903 uh, for the top length of timber. If we look at the rise of it, 79 millimetres. So we'll call it 80 millimetres difference between our high side and our low side. We know our bottom section is 900. Now we need to work out the height. Now like I was saying we need to have a minimum of 150 millimetres. This is going to be sitting on the roof joists. Um, now on top of the roof joists, there's a doubled one there, we're going to have a furring strip to give us our pitch on the rest of the roof. And at this point of the roof it's about 30 mil and then we've got 18 millimeters of OSB going on there as well uh, so let's round that up to 50 mil which means that this side of our upstand needs to equal 200 mil which means this one is 280 which actually is the same height as this whole speed square and then our roof light will sit on top of that so it's a, it's a fair chunk of timber I'm gonna go outside and see what that's gonna look like. I'll give you a quick look on the phone here. That is a, a nine inch joist, so it's 225. I've just plopped a, an off cut on there. But, I mean, while that looks quite a bit, it makes a bit of a feature light well. Um, but also, when we take a step back, if you can see, we've got such a big overhang on the roof that you don't actually see it from any point on the ground. Right, I've just done a little bit more research seemed like five degrees was just a little bit too much. Um, some manufacturers are saying three degree absolute minimum, don't really want to go to the absolute minimum. So four degrees means that our fall only needs to be 63 mil. Yep, so 137. But I've made up one side, this is the 200 mil we want. 263 the other end so we've got the right fall so now all we need to do is make up a second one of these I've kind of tried to cut everything in batches hopefully 
successfully done match. That's pretty straightforward. So that's given us our two end pieces. We now just need to almost just build a ladder in between all of them and we'll clad the whole lot on OSB. So a little bit more maths. We need to be 1200 minus the width of these. Right, three sides done, we'll just make up the big ladder on the high side now. I could have ripped these down on the table saw to cut that angle on there as well. It's just not really necessary. The inside's gonna have insulation and then plasterboard, so it's not really an issue there. So we're flush there. Like I said, because we've tipped this, all we need to do is just knock off that corner there, so we're plumb. Up the front there. The back, same, we could just plane off that little bit. And I guess the one last thing to do is to check square. So if we go corner to corner, 150, 150. One of the reasons for a five degree pitch is because glass can actually deflect over a big, you know, if you had a two meter by two meter or two by one, it can deflect in the middle. Um, by a certain amount and that would cause water to pool or be slower to shed off. So the fact that our expansive gla unsupported glass is only about 700 mil, 750 mil on the inside of the upsounds, there's not much chance of that. Right, let's just plane off that little bit of excess there. As you can tell, I don't really like getting the table saw out, setting up all that mess, if I can avoid it. Alright, let's get it back on the operating table. Ah, I'd even written it down. I haven't allowed for my OSB. So what's required is the 75mm width up sand. This timber here is 63mm CLS. If I add on 11, 12 mil OSB, I'm perfect, I think. Yeah, that's bang on 75, 76 mil. But I can make it work somehow. Right, I've got to get on with making the fairing strip too, which will be a separate video, but I'm gonna jump this video to the point where we get it up on the roof. Final thing I'm going to do is just give all the rough edges, rough corners, 
top, all a bit of a rough sanding. Another option you've got when you do this is just to let them run a little bit long. Well, as with anything really, even the reef overhangs, and then just use a flush trim around a bit. It'll run on the top of this. So it's just, yeah, I guess that's another way of doing it. I think I'm pretty much ready now to move on to the reefing itself. Um, I've done a little bit of work on it already, but we'll pick that up in the next video and hopefully we can get all of this watertight and be somewhere close to getting the reef light installed by the end of this blue sky day. But remember to subscribe if you want to watch the rest of these videos and all the videos in the future. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. And we'll see you next time.